Hey, so this is a bike that I bought directly from China. Here's the website where I got it, AliExpress. It was a little less than $1,000, and it was actually really well packaged to my house in the United States. So really good shipping, actually. Uh, one of the things I really like about the bike is that it's very small, so the full length of it is less than 50 inches, but it's really comfortable, and uh, it has 12-inch wheels. Uh, as you can see here, you can put a small child on it, which was definitely something I was looking for. And even though I don't have a tiny dog, this is adorable. You can put a tiny dog in that dog basket. It's technically an e-bike. It's a lot more like a scooter. I really like it. Sadly, I am going to be selling it soon because I have too many bikes. But it's a pretty good scooter. Handles regular hills fine, but when you get to anything steep, uh, if you have more weight on the bicycle, it's not going to do very well. So actually, I did find riding this bike around on my own, weighing 135, 40, 140 pounds or so. But when I uh, had my child on the bike, weighing 50 pounds, the hills got pretty tricky. Overall, love the bike though. One of the best features about it is of course, this awesome cargo basket. Now <laughs> the cargo basket unlocks and is the place where you plug in the charger. Charger goes in here and there's an unlockable compartment down here that has the battery. The battery is removable but the bike didn't come with a charger that can, that can charge the battery while it's removed. I can charge the bike when I uh, have the bike next to a power outlet, but I can't actually charge it while it's, well, I've got the battery removed. Uh, hopefully I could find a charger for that if I needed one. So the other reason I bought this bike besides that awesome storage basket is this child seat. Uh, the child seat is a really good feature uh, and I did carry my six year old around on it. I recently discovered I can even carry another small adult on it. <laughs> uh, and that was a lot of fun. Here's a foot peg for the children. They can hold onto this handle, of course. This handle is removable. There's a foot peg down here for an adult. Honestly, because this bike doesn't pedal very well, I'd say you're very likely to just consider removing the pedals altogether and just using those foot pegs and scooting around, which is a lot of fun. The uh, <laughs> So the two sets of foot pegs is great so that you can have multiple multiple people riding with you on the bicycle. They fold up. This headlight, which is really good, have it on right now. It's pretty bright. Didn't have any trouble seeing in the dark with that. It's better than the light I have on my other e-bike. And it's also got a really nice bright and pretty cool looking tail light back here. <laughs> so didn't have any trouble being seen on that. There's a few bikes that have this form, but this is one of the only ones that actually has a adjustable saddle height. It doesn't go high, <laughs> uh, but if you like riding low or if you're short like me, there's the saddle. That's pretty much as high as it goes. Uh, it's got these teensy weensy little pedals. Pedaling them isn't really going to do much. They don't help you get up the hills very well. And uh, they're also you know, you're not really gonna get a lot of traction, of course, with your foot against those. I do usually put my feet on the pedals when I ride the bike, but I have a feeling that this bike was made to be a scooter that can qualify as a bicycle for uh, legal purposes. Like there are trails where you can't ride a scooter, but you can ride a bike. And in that case, this would be the bike for you. Now, uh, another thing, about this bike <laughs> uh, is it's only in kilometers. Uh, I can get up to about 38 kilometers per hour on straightaway usually. It's a little less if I'm carrying weight and that's without pedaling at all. Again, pedaling doesn't do a whole lot on this bike. It's, it turns off with the key. You need the key to ride it. And you can turn the lights on and off here and it's got this little horn actually pretty loud and does the job really well. It's got a phone holder that has a phone charger. 
and on the keychain is the anti-theft. So the anti-theft is pretty good, I think. Um, let's see, let's arm it. Gonna hit lock. And then when it's armed, check this out. When I move the bike, it makes that little chirp. But then it stops when you stop moving the bike. Which I think is pretty good for anti-theft because a lot of them just keep going <laughs> and going. Uh, so I think that'll be a little less annoying and be a really good theft deterrent overall. Okay, now I'm gonna disarm it. Okay, now we can use the bike again. And also this little storage area is, unlike some other bikes like this, really designed for an animal because the animal can actually put his or her head out here. Whereas on a, some of these other bikes, the compartment goes all the way to the top. Uh, of course, that's kind of a compromise because it does mean you need to make sure to secure your cargo. That said, the cargo area is awesome and huge. Got to move the pedal out of the way to open it. <laughs> so you can definitely put two or three bags of groceries in here. And uh, I managed to get a lot in there. So I was really happy. That cargo area was, of course, besides the child seat, one of the reasons to get a bike like this. This bike has front and rear shocks and they actually make the ride smoother. Uh, it's a folding bike. So uh, you can see that this handlebar here has a little folding mechanism. You can unfold that, fold that handlebar all the way down. You'd have to collapse this seat to get it to its lowest height. So just, you know, open up the seat post release and lower the seat, very easy to do. Unfortunately, uh, if you wanna have this handlebar attached for a passenger, you can't also fold the front handlebar down. So if I was going to use this bike regularly with no passenger, I'd take that front handlebar, the, uh, the passenger handlebar off of the bicycle and keep it folded down, maybe under a table in my house or something like that. Uh, now this bike being nice and small, it's under 50 inches long, I can uh, keep it very easily right in my living room actually, uh, and that's how I keep it charged. Here are the specs. I'm not gonna read them all in detail, but feel free to pause and give these a read. Anyway, love this scooter. Definitely should not call it a bike. It really is more of a scooter, but boy is it cute. And it's a lot of fun to ride. Uh, even if it's not terribly powerful, it's just uh, the kind of bike makes you feel like you're riding around on the beach. So, like it a lot. Goodbye Lee Hayes Bicycle.